Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can add a background image to a gallery section in your Squarespace 7.1 website. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use these codes in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I have two different gallery sections on this page that we're going to add a background image to. Now, if we hop into edit mode and we select edit section, you'll see we have the ability to change the background color, but we can't actually upload an image. That's what we need to do with CSS. So I'll select exit and we're going to navigate to pages and then website tools and then custom CSS. This is where we'll be working today. The first thing we need to do is upload the background image file to our custom files. Clicking on this option and then selecting the plus sign will open up the file explorer on your computer. Click on the image that you want to upload and it will be added to your Squarespace website so we can use this file in our code. There we go, now it's added. All right, the next step for this tutorial is to grab the ID for the unique section that you want to add the background to. We don't want this image for every page section background. Let's start with this first one. I'm going to click on a free Chrome extension that I use to grab this information this Chrome extension displays the data section ID right here at the very top. It's a free extension. I'm not affiliated with them, just a fan, and I use them all the time, so I'll link to them in the description below. I'm going to click on this data section ID so I can paste it into my code, and we'll turn that Chrome extension off. All right, it's time to add our section background. The first thing we need to do is tell the computer that we want to add a section background to this unique data section. Then we'll open up a curly bracket, and we're going to say background image and then URL and open up parentheses. Now Squarespace will instantly throw in the URL for the image that we just uploaded. If that doesn't happen, don't worry. Click on your custom files and then click on the image and Squarespace will place that URL directly in your code for you. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna add a semicolon and we're gonna change the size of this background image because if you can see here, it's super pixelated and stretched out way too big. So I'm gonna say background size, cover. That is going to resize the image here so it maintains its ratio and it covers the section background. You can also see background size contain. However, if the background image that you're using has a much different ratio than the page section, you could end up with the image repeating itself. So I prefer to use background size cover, but that's totally up to you. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to reposition this background. We can say background position, how about top? That'll align the top of the image or the top of the page section, and it's already doing that. So how about we just say center? There we go. Now we've centered the image, and we can say bottom, and that'll align the bottom of the image with the bottom of the page section. Totally customizable. Top, center, or bottom are the property values that I like to work with the most, but you choose what's perfect for you. Now there's one more cool thing that I want to show you, and that has to do with how the background image stays on the page. Right now, this background image will stick with the section. Do you see how it's not going to move as we scroll up and down? For your unique design, that might be perfect. But you can also say background attachment fixed. And now when I scroll, the background image will stay attached to that specific fixed spot on the page and all the content will move around it. Pretty cool, isn't it? Background attachment fixed. All right, we've added all the code we need to see this background image behind this gallery. We told the computer browser when you see this data section and you see that it has a background, make sure it has a background image that is this unique image URL. We want it to cover the entire page section. We want to position it in the center and we want it to stay fixed so the content will move around it. Let's say you love the way this is set up, but you actually want it to happen for a different page section on your site. Click on that free Chrome extension that's linked in the description below so you can grab its data section ID. I'll replace that at the very beginning of this code right here, and instantly we'll see that background has now been added to this gallery section. It's still fixed, it's still set to center, still set to cover, and again, it's the URL for the image that we uploaded to Squarespace. Underneath this video, you're going to find the codes that I used. Just make sure you choose the right background size for your own unique image. That could be background size cover or background size contain. And I've also added some links in that description below to related resources so you can learn even more about editing your Squarespace website with code. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.
If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.